forward facing sonar like my Garmin LiveScope is used to find fish obviously we look at it where we can see the fish out there but up in shallow water particularly if the water is murky or muddy what is one really 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 good use of those units good morning guys and girls October 22nd Reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed to it. Subscribe to all of our YouTube channels. Jimmy Houston Outdoors Fishing, Jimmy and Chris Houston's Twin Eagle Ranch, Catch a Better Life. Also on all of those channels, you can uh, hit that little QR code on some of our videos and enter to win a Mercury Outboard Engine. That's right, you can win a Mercury Outboard Engine up to 300 horsepower, $32,000 value. And uh, all you do is enter there, a little contest between Bill Dance and Hank Parker and myself of who can get the most entries into that, only one entry per person. So make sure you uh, go to the link on this video here or some of the other videos on and uh, make sure that you enter that Mercury to Win contest. The winner will be uh, announced at the Bassmaster Classic next year, so it's going to be fantastic. Today we're looking at Psalms 8, 5, Psalms 8, 5, and this is, this is really a cool one because it talks about one of my favorite things in the Bible, angels. I love to talk about angels because I believe in angels. I believe in angels. You have made man a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him with glory and with honor. Gosh, I like that. Those angels are powerful, mighty people. Here's what I wrote about it. It's difficult to attain a big name in professional bass fishing. How many big name guys can you name that's out there fishing the, the, the national tournaments at the top level right now? How do guys like Hank Parker, guys like Roland Martin, guys like Bill Dance or Ricky Klon, or somebody like Kevin Van Dam become household names to almost any fisherman? Well, you know, almost any fisherman. And that's true. Those guys, most of them, has television shows. Many of them been on our other television shows. Uh, but, uh, but, but how do they become almost household names? They become the big names in fishing. Sure, they are extraordinary fishermen with extraordinary talents and skills. Sure, they win, and they do well very, very often. But they have also taken those God-given talents. That's right. That's where they got their talents from God. Ricky Klein, Kevin Van Dam, all of them. And they moved them to the max. They've taken those God-given talents that God gave them, and they moved them to the max. They've added a sparkle. They've added a flare that makes them magnetic. Makes them magnetic. They set themselves apart from the field, and they become exceptional. Exceptional. That's what God wants us to become. Angels, angels are awesome, mighty beings able to slay thousands. The Bible tells us that one angel, one night, killed 185,000 men. <laughs> 185,000 men. Now that's a warrior I want on my side in the fight. Yet, think about this. What this is says, this verse right here says that God made you, God made me, just a little bit lower than them. Just a little bit lower than the angels. You have made man a little lower than the angels. A little bit lower, that's all. And in the meantime, in the same time, he gave us glory, he gave us honor, God gave us talents, God gave us abilities, God gave us gifts that allow us to become exceptional in this life we're living here on earth. So let's go out there, let's take them to the max. Let's take all of those things that God gave you and me to the max, and let you and I become exceptional. Exceptional, that's what God wants out of us. He's given us, the, all of us, He's given us the means to become exceptional. He's given us exactly what we need to become exceptional. Will all people become, all tournament fishermen become household names like these I mentioned up here? No, they won't. But they could be. They could be. They could become exceptional. Here's our tip for today. We was talking about forward-facing sonar, FFS they call it. Forward-looking sonar is needed to spot rocks and stumps in front of your boat while you're fishing. This is particularly true in shallow water applications. You're fishing in shallow water. If it's muddy, you can't see those rocks and stumps. You could be scanning in your boat with your forward-facing sonar two or three foot of water, two or three foot of water, and you can see those stumps. You can see those rocks. You can see those brush piles. You can see things out in front of your boat that you need to cast to. You cannot always see the fish that may be located on that stump or behind that stump or under the rock or deep in the brush pile, but if you can see the brush pile, just like if you saw it with your eyes, you're going to make a cast over there. Caught a lot of bass doing that. A lot of bass doing that. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. Fish lucky. And remember, I sure do love you.